This is Jose with JL Martinez Plumbing. We're at 6605 Lancia Court. We're currently in the garage. There's a tankless water heater, the back door into the house, some shelves in the front. We have a person's vehicle, driveway, my vehicle across the street, plants, walkway, and we have the porch to the front door. So we're gonna be videoing towards the house first. So we are going towards the house. We're gonna zero out the footer. So we're at zero inches. The white stuff is all the scum layer, soap, suds, um, when they're uh, probably you know washing dishes or possibly laundry. Um, if that needs to come out, we can always uh, use the jetter. It's like an inside pressure washer. We can remove a lot of that stuff. Roughly 10 feet. We have a tie-in. Again, the water is on the bottom, white stuff is on the top of the pipe. The flow line, when there's lots of flow, you can see where the edge is. And to the left is, it looks like the kitchen sink. I've got the cold water running. We're continuing back a bit further. For the tie to the right. Another tie in. Another tie-in. This all still looks like the uh, sewer. And it looks like uh, we hit the very end at around 65 feet. So roughly 65 feet is to the uh, very end. I'm gonna pull it out. So towards the home, looks in really good condition at this time. So at around 34 feet, 33 feet, that's where the kitchen line ties in to the main line. You can see that's a nice uh, flow right there. Again, uh, the water cleans the bottom, all the white stuff is the uh, soap, the scum. Um, if you're concerned about that, we'd be more than happy to use a jetter. 
That'll be like using a pressure washer on the inside of the pipe and we could scour it clean um, as much as possible. Looks like from here it goes possibly from a three inch to a four inch. And we're just about to come out. Now we're gonna go towards the street. Clean out. We're gonna zero out the counter. With the kitchen sink on, we have nice good flow, slight amount of buildup. That's nothing huge, it just has to be cleaned. Again, just on top, you see the scum layer. to turn this time the scum level here is on the bottom basically where the water flows probably on the toilets wash machine everything else is flowing at this point for whatever reason uh, probably because there's a turn right there um so there's a bit of restriction so the pipe fills up with scum foam soap all that kind of stuff but otherwise it looks in pretty good shape and it looks like here we're now tied into make sure yeah 90s down no tie-ins It goes from ABS to SDR. The connection looks nice. A nice sound connection from what I can tell. So there's, uh, there's probably, uh, see the water droplets on top. So humidity, is what uh, gets it to go up there. But right in the cold water, we kind of reduce the humidity, I think. I just know when there's cold water, it doesn't uh, fog up the lens and less issues. Okay, it looks like now we're tying into the city main. That's roughly 40 something feet. We'll go out a little bit more, make sure we're good. Otherwise, uh, we're in the city. Everything looks good over here. 67 feet. to the city again 44 feet from the lateral to the city 44 feet Otherwise, at this time, the sewer line looks in a satisfactory and in really good operating conditions. The only thing I would recommend is a at least a once every five years jetting with high pressure water for the sewer line. 
does reduce the um, scum from uh, building up and causing any issues later on. So otherwise, this line is open. This is Jose with JL Martinez Plumbing.